watching for that storm chance and it's the weekend it's summertime so so many people have plans so that's why I just want to make you aware of course of where those storms are especially if you are out at the pool or you plan to go out there this evening you know someone over at the lake as we're looking at the radar here as a wide view you see that blue pop up across really parts of Missouri over into Kansas and parts of northeastern Oklahoma. That's a severe thunderstorm watch for our friends off towards the northeast. But what I'm watching are for storms developing right along a cold front. Biggest threats with this is going to be some gusty winds as these storms collapse. So you're looking at about 60 to 70 mile per hour winds potential for up to golf ball size tail. But I think the most part that wind threat is really going to be the main thing I'll be watching with any of these storms, but they're going up pretty quickly. Resuming in closer to where I'm a bit more focused from Watonga Kingfisher up towards Hennessy and then over towards Enid and Garber. I'm going to pause this here and I think one of the storms I'm watching just a bit more is going to be just closer to really the east side of Enid up towards Garber and then also to the east of Kingfisher. You're also looking north of Watonga. A few more lightning strikes with these, but overall the motion of this will be heading a bit more towards the southeast. So our friends on the north side of the metro, just be mindful you may be running into some storms here over the next few hours this evening. I want to show you where that severe weather threat is for tonight. Like I said, gusty winds, that's going to be the biggest threat. Level two, slight risk for our friends closer towards Tulsa and then another one way off to the panhandle in between where I'm watching for those storms. That's the marginal threat and mainly this is going to be a long I-40 into the north. Overall, these storms will still be able to grow over the next couple hours. They'll sort of peak in intensity. Once we get to after sunset, they'll start to weaken quite a bit. So we walk through our predictor here, still watching mainly north of I-40, anywhere from Ponca City, Enid, Stillwater, over towards Watonga, back towards Weatherford and Clinton. More storms to develop with that gusty wind potential. We go later into the evening. These storms will slowly push a bit to the southeast, so we will have to watch across central Oklahoma. And then we get to about 11 o'clock and that storm threat really going down. But it's also hot outside, so it's sort of a twofold weather story here because this is the view to the south. We're not looking at those storm chances, so a lot of Oklahoma actually seen some blue sky, but it feels like 106 outside. We have an excessive heat warning across much of the state, so if you don't get any rain that cools you off, of course it's going to be feeling pretty hot out there. Most of our temperatures either upper 90s, triple digits. That humidity, though, making it feel like it's anywhere from around 110, even close to 115 for some of us. Watching for that low chance of storms the next few hours in this uh, OKC Metro, central Oklahoma. Overall, we go overnight, and that storm threat does diminish quite a bit. But the storms are caused uh, really developing right along a cold front. So temperatures in the upper 60s. Love to see that across northern Oklahoma for tonight. And look at these temperatures for tomorrow. Instead of near 100, we're talking about upper 80s near 90 for tomorrow. There's also going to be a low chance of storms once again in the afternoon. But just look at these temperatures after seeing upper 90s and 100s on all the thermometers across Oklahoma the last few days. We love to see this 80s northern Oklahoma. That front really trying to make its way across the state as we go throughout the day for tomorrow. So still going to be hot if you're anywhere near the Red River and Southern Oklahoma. You just see on our heat index map here how it sort of splits the state. So expect those temperatures to be uh, closer to 90, low 90s along I-40, hotter to the south, and a bit more relief the farther north that you go. Like I said, isolated storm chance 2 for tomorrow. That'll be where that cold front sets up, essentially along central Oklahoma, down towards the south, and that'll diminish by the time that we get towards about sunset. Overall, we do have some better rain chances once we get to later in the week. Only thing is that is going to be closer to around, of course, the 4th of July and next weekend. And you're up to date with the latest First Alert forecast.